We always hear this simple piece of advice, count your blessings. There are times though that counting blessings becomes very difficult, like when we meet an accident, lose our job, or get diagnosed with a life-threatening illness. How do we muster the strength to count our blessings then? When you think about it, bad days are actually the best days to focus on the good things we have. It doesn't guarantee that everything will suddenly be okay, but it gives us a better perspective of our circumstances. Count your blessings. It's actually as simple as saying a few common phrases. For example, when I'm bogged down by a serious problem, I say, it's all right, things will work out fine. And then I concentrate on tackling the challenge. When something turns out contrary to what I expect, I say, look at the bright side and appreciate the good things that came with the bad. Many times I say, relax, it could have been worse. And I whisper a prayer of thanks that I survived the bad break. And when I find myself in a really desperate situation, I dig deep, keep the faith and say, it's okay, it's a blessing in disguise. Here's a little secret I'd like to share. When I feel that I'm about to get totally depressed, I look down at my hands. I stretch my fingers and I start to count my blessings. I say to myself, I have 10 fingers, I can move all of them. I can see, I can hear, I can talk, I can walk. I have a family, I have a home, I have friends. I am a very lucky person. I can certainly cope with this minor setback. So try it. In your darkest hour, when you feel utterly hopeless, count your blessings by starting with your fingers. For more tips on self-improvement and personal development, visit rubybion.com. This is your life coach, Ruby Bayan, for DZRJ 810, the voice of the Philippines.